the episode titles in the show are very interesting. Like, they don't really tell me anything at all. Like, this one's called the Yokohama Gangster Paradise. Like, what? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, episode three. Last episode, we had the test because the current director of the ADA, uh, Fukuzawa, didn't necessarily trust. Or I mean, it's it's kind of a weird situation in which we're enlisting a new member. So we left the decision after the, the bomb test up to Dezai, and Dezai gave him the go-ahead. So we're now officially a member of the ADA, which is dope. I can't wait to learn more about powers, learn more about everyone's backstory, see some crazy action, all that. Also, the end credit scene, we had the guy, the dark guy from the opening say the found the were tiger has been found. So some dark magic. We'll see, I don't know. Some shit's gonna go down. I'm just so excited for it. A lot of people have been hyping this anime up like crazy. And if you guys say it's good, I gotta believe you. You guys have not led me astray so far in the last like two, three years of this YouTube channel. So I appreciate y'all. I say we just hop right on into this. I'm excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment on this video. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok at Dapper Darius. We also have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me any art, fan mail, anything like that. All the info for everything is in the description like usual. Let's hop into this. The Bungo Stray Dogs, Episode 3, The Yokohama Gangster Paradise. Let's do this. Apology by Tanizaki. Hey, apologetic. I like it. Junichiro. Yeah, I noticed that last episode. I made some faces. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Also, I gotta say, shouts out. I think there was a lot of people on Patreon who were commenting a whole bunch of stuff. You guys know when I I love the, when you guys give me the details that I would have never caught or, or noticed and stuff like that. I think it was Melanie on Patreon always commenting nice stuff, but I apologize if I forgot who specifically it was. Um, but a few people told me that the characters in this show, especially with the old typewriters classic style, uh, the characters in this show are based off Japanese literary writers or famous writers from Japan. And like Kunikita was a poet, if I remember correctly. He was a writer as well. There's a lot of the resemblance from these characters in the show to their actual real life inspirations, which is just crazy to me. I would have never thought of that. And the only reason that made me remind me of that is Dazai, uh, you guys were saying, apparently even though very morbid and dark, often attempted suicide was very humoristic and very funny in his writings and stuff like that. And it translates very well to Desai's character in here. It just makes me so funny, you know? It makes me, it makes me crack up. I would like to know. That's a good, that's a good game. I, I have played at work actually before. Yeah, you can't read Desai at all. I have no idea. Man has a fire lit under him. A lot of main characters have a different way of being motivated. <laughs> Atsushi's is definitely money. He wants to make sure he has food on his table. He's just guessing at him. <laughs> okay, that was a long opening. I'm excited. Ooh. Okay. 
As ephemeral and as elegant as a lotus blossom. This is a simple stakeout job. New task for the rookie. I would agree that of, of all the dangerous things we could be doing, this probably is one of the safer ones. But knowing this show, something's going to go wrong. Okay. So we've established that he's a bad guy. A mafioso. Okay. I was like, I didn't know the mafia was in this show. Port Mafia. Interesting. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, I'm ready for it. Give me his name. Akutagawa. Akutagawa. Okay, we're not going to see the gore and violence, but I'm assuming they are dead. And she is going to be the first one to... Yep. Ability Rashomon. His last name is Ryunosuke. Or maybe that's his first name, I don't know. Akutagawa Ryunosuke. You guys are probably going to be seeing me make that face to them a lot. I'm just saying that right now. <laughs> so this is the... Higuchi. It seems a little weird that we're back here. Don't tell me... Okay. Okay. Now, this is very much seeming like a trap. And now, I assumed Higuchi was Higuchi, the lady we just met. But I also noticed, because I wasn't really looking, I was more looking at uh, Atu, uh, Akutagawa, sorry, last episode when we saw him. But wasn't there a blonde lady who was next to him saying the were tiger has been spotted or found? Could this all just not be an easy ploy? I know you guys know. I'm saying this for myself. But it's seeming like that. Yeah, so she is... Yep. Port Mafia, Higuchi. Her name is Higuchi. Yep, Akutagawa, yep. Okay. This shit's going real quick. I was not expecting the pacing to be like this. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. No hesitation with the fucking Uzis. There's no way Naomi's... あなたが戦闘要員でないことは調査済みです。けなげな姫君の後を追っていただきましょうか。So a non-combative type ability, but can most definitely be used in unique scenarios. So that was him coughing earlier. I didn't notice someone coughing a lot. It was... Yeah, run. He's like one of the fucking agents in the Matrix. You see him, you do not fight, you run. Akutagawa. You can tell she very much respects him and wants to wants his approval. Yeah, what is with the were tiger though? Why do you want Atsushi? Oh, I like how it's red too instead of the black like our normal abilities. Yeah.
I was gonna say, is he gonna transform and fight? But he can only transform under the moonlight, if I remember correctly, right? Ooh. Ooh. With the machine gun. With the Mac 10. Let's do it. And Rashomon literally ate them. That's so cool how he, like, comes out of his back. Indiscriminate. It's literally like Gojo. It can change the distance of the infinite void between anything. What the flying fuck? What is this show? This is not what I was expecting at all. We can. Oh, and our leg regrows. Yes. As a thank the Lord, we have the ability to regrow limbs. Ooh, it's like a Rushamon net, like a defensive shield. Or bulletproof in tiger form. That's dope. I wouldn't mind if you killed her, Atsushi. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Agito, a different form of it. Ooh. Like singular spikes that are meant for like ripping and tearing. Was that all a projected image from fucking? Oh, does eyes here? I can understand stopping Akutagawa, but I would not have. Maybe he was on a rampage, so it was, it was a, needed to stop him. But I see. Desai is all. See, I thought that was just purely for fun, purely funniness, you know. But Desai always shows more than he lets on. I wonder why they want the port or why they want the wear tiger so bad. I can totally hear one of the Osamu twins when I hear Desai speak, which is so funny. I like how she talks big and has all confidence in the people that she works for, but she's a dog, as Aku Akutagawa just said, you know? They're just peons. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Desai surprises me every episode. Well, like I said, I was not expecting the pacing to go that fast. We already, I thought this was going to be like, a, like your actual first, but I, I did for a second thought when they first introduced Higuchi as the client, I was like, huh, she looks like kind of, I swear, like the girl from last episode who was telling Akutagawa about, about Atsushi. But then I just assumed, hey, a lot of anime characters look alike, so maybe she's just a client. And I was like, this happens to be a great, uh, Great introduction to what could be some enemies with the Port Mafia and also a great first mission for Atsushi, you know, stake out some smugglers. But it did end up being a trap and Akutagawa is so strong. And But I really enjoy the fact that Desai not only was suspicious from the start, but also is an ex-member of the Port Mafia who is very much like an actual real life organization, a criminal organization where they have influence in the economy and politics in every aspect. They control their area very well, very corrupt, very realistic, very dangerous. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I love seeing some powers. Shouts out Naomi for, for being a real one and getting in front of uh, Junichiro Judy Chiro's name? Right. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get names, guys. I apologize. Shouts out Naomi for getting in front of Juni Chiro when he was about to get blasted. She got blasted, then he also got blasted, but they both are some real ones. I, I do feel bad for Atsushi for the life he's been living. He has said multiple times he's always abandoned. He was never given the ability to cry. It's just, I feel so bad for my man. 
I want him to feel good. Have Maybe this will be his family. No one's going to abandon him anymore. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I thoroughly did. I cannot wait for this next one. I'm about to go watch it. I'll see you guys later. If you guys want to check out Early Access, check out that Patreon down below. Catch you guys later. Peace out.